What's up everybody? So my name is Reth with rwgresearch.com, quantumgravityresearch.org. So I have been video editing with the same piece of uh, hardware, the laptop that I've been using for a long time. And officially I finally got a new laptop. Um, half and half we split the cost between my boss and I. And we bought the most, reasonable, most reasonably priced laptop. So I figured, since I'm doing it, I'm going to do a little review and an unboxing, okay? So here's what I've got. Uh, this is a, a Zeus, if I said that right, G-Series. And this is a gaming notebook, but I'm not going to be gaming. I am going to be video editing. So I plan on doing all HD video and uh, probably getting into 60 frames a second, but 30 right now. And um, yeah, 1080p. So this should do the job. Uh, so this is a GL551J. Um, that's about all you need to know, I guess. So let's uh, unbox this baby and then uh, do a little review. Now, one of the things I'll be doing uh, with this laptop is installing this dual drive. Um, and the reason that I have this dual drive is because I wanted the functionality of an SSD, but I didn't want to pay for the extra cost and only have... Uh, 120 or 256 gigs of memory or uh, hard drive space. So this has a one terabyte um, solid state drive in it, or I mean a one terabyte uh, standard uh, hard drive in it, and I'm going to be replacing it with this. So that's, I'm reviewing this in a different video, just FYI. So let's open this bad boy up. I normally don't make these type of videos, but uh, I figured uh, since I have this thing, I might as well do it. Oh man, that's kind of bad design. That's already horrible. Look, I can't get the can't get the box open because the handle hits. What kind of design is that, guys? I'm not gonna keep it in a box. Oh look, man, these people spend too much money on boxes. Sometimes that's all I have to say. Look at this. The box opens up, hangs nicely. Nice laptop. Little pull tab. Alright, so there's the laptop itself. Actually, it's pretty light. Oh, it doesn't have a battery in it yet, either. Let's slide it out of here. Now, this particular model actually seems fairly cheap to me, um, but I went with it because of the value. Alright, so there's, there's the laptop itself had the nice uh, sheet between it so it didn't get scratched. Now it does have an aluminum case but it looks and appears to be plastic which most of this is plastic but uh, the top is aluminum and the metal frame all the way around is actually aluminum. So let's see what else we got in the box. Another nice pull tab. Got the uh, cable tie. Couple of instructions here. Pull tab over here. Brick power supply. That's a beefy. That's a beefy supply. 19 volt, 6.32 amps. Wow. That's a beast. Hopefully, it doesn't get as hot as the rest of these things. And uh, the battery. Looks like a tiny little thing. And the power cord. That appears to be it. Quite the box for a computer. Well, hey, it is what it is. So, um, so yeah. Let's plug this thing in and see what we get out of it. Bottom end first. There we go. Now, um, one of the reasons why I really like this computer, and, uh, oh look, this cable tie is all crazy-like. And then it's got this wrapped around here, can't get it off. Oh, man, okay, there we go. Short cord, that's not always... 
my favorite, but hey. Kind of is what it is. This has a fairly lengthy cord on it. Man, that's a stiff old thing. That is a very stiff cord. That's got a nice little rubber dongy on it. Alright, so let's plug this thing in so we can get power to this. So, some of the uh, specifications on this guy. Oh, I don't see a power light. Main. No power light. Plug is on the side. All right, before I do that, let's show you the sides. So over here we've got a, uh, a USB and, st and a headphone jack at the end. That's nice, towards the front. Uh, there is a DVD drive in here, burner as well. And there is a, uh, um, I don't know actually what that is, HDMI. I don't know if that's an HDMI, I mean, I don't know what that plug right there is, to be honest. It's got a little P next to it does have a uh, um, internet jack which is good and two more uh, two more USBs up here and those appear to be SS so those are the fancy ones um, SD card slot in the front which is a, choir, a requirement for me I really needed that um, the only downer for me is it's got Windows 8 I'm not looking forward to that so Turn it on, see if it works. Ooh, power on. So let me read you some of the specifications of this so you so you know. Um, I don't even know if it's on here. We might have to look. Yeah, it appears it's not even on this box. So basically, um, this has 16 gigabytes of RAM and a 2 gigabyte uh, video graphics card in it. Uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 860M. Okay, so that's the graphics card uh, will work with the uh, Adobe that I plan on using. Um, so I've been using uh, a different uh, software for video editing. I've been using Magix. Uh, it was cheap, reasonable. It seemed like the best thing at the time. And unfortunately, I don't like it at all. It's not very good. So, we'll set this bad boy up. Alright, I'm going to run through the whole setup procedure and then we'll uh, check the specs. Alright guys, so I've uh, currently set this thing up and I just wanted to kind of show you um, the internals here of what is actually in this thing. So, um, right there you can see processor. The RAM, the system. 16 gigs of RAM. It's an i7 4710 HQ CPU. Um, from what I understand, it'll actually run at uh, 3.5 gigahertz, overclocking it. Um, not quite sure how that works, the accelerator on this thing. So that's that. Alright, so here is just a uh, list of the uh, <clears throat> device manager. You can see it has a uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 860M and an Intel graphics. So it's a dual deal. And uh, there you can see the processor. should probably open the, uh, the network adapters so you can see those. Really those are the most important I'm concerned about. Um, let's go ahead and open one more thing. Let's do the Universal Serial Bus. Alright, so that's what we got on the US Serial Bus. UP USB Serial Bus. So, um, that's it. <clears throat> so what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to, uh, like I said, I'm going to be installing this. That's in a different video. I'm going to be using this for a while, and I'm going to, uh, basically for video editing for what I'm doing 
I will uh, get back with this video after a couple of weeks of using it and tell you how I, uh, how I like it. Okay, so a quick note on the review of this computer. I did switch out the hard drive for the solid state drive and the boot time dramatically went up. So I'm going to guess that the user experience for me is going to be considered solid state drive, not a standard um, HDD. Okay, so just remember that whenever I, uh, I do this. So I'll be back in a few weeks when I get done experience this laptop. Um, I will say already, it's actually thinner than I thought. It looked really thick, but you know, this, this, this is not too bad. Um, it's got like an extra space here in the front where the hard drive actually is right here. That's why that's like that. But, um, but so far, just you know, flipping it over and switching stuff out and just checking it out, it's, it's, uh, it's not bad so far. So see you in a couple weeks. Well, it's been approximately a month and a week, maybe, and I've been using this particular laptop that I'm doing uh, a little bit of uh, review on, and that's it. So let me kind of tell you some of the pros and cons that I found out so far um, from using this laptop. Um, so, so far, this laptop for video editing, again, I'm doing this review for video editing. I basically want to show um, people out there who are interested in buying this laptop just for editing purposes. Um, you could probably play games as well, of course. Uh, but just for video editing and using Adobe as the video editor. Um, so, the first thing I want to actually share with you really quickly is on here, um, using Adobe, okay, there's an option. Let's see if I can get even closer. There's an option under preferences and you can actually see here if I click this these are the options that you have um, so this actually uses the GPU acceleration um, CUDA is what it's called or if it only supports open um, CL so that was GL but I guess not um, if it only supports that you can use that as well but if your computer is not supported from the graphics card acceleration it will only allow you to choose the mercury playback software engine only. Now one time this crashed um, and it wouldn't allow me it basically said I couldn't use anything else so I have no idea why it, why it would have done that but it did that. So anyway so that's how that works that's why I picked this laptop with this graphics card it's a GeForce GTX 860M <clears throat> okay that's the reason I picked this guy because I could use it for playback. Now that's only for playback um, you can't use the GPU for rendering, but it renders stuff extremely fast. Absolutely no problem. So, um, some of the pros, I guess I'll just go through some of the things I like. Um, basically, if you're going to be doing video editing, um, so far I've been using the um, SSD. I put that, uh, that hard drive in here, which is a dual drive. It's got SSD and a standard um, uh, mechanical hard drive in it. Now it's a smaller hard drive, it's a 120 gigabyte SSD, one terabyte um, regular HHD and basically whenever I import video to um, Adobe it copies it over to the SSD in its own format, it kind of converts it to where it can read it uh, read and write faster using its own um, internal um, converting type situation there so all the stuff on this side of my screen is basically uh, stuff that's been copied in. It's on the SD, so I'm I'm actually storing everything on my um, HHD and then reading and writing from my SSD through this program and not doing it manually. Then later I got to go manually remove all the files from that particular um, hard drive space, which kind of sucks. But uh, but that's okay. It seems to work. Um, as far as the program and running and everything like this, I'm using. Uh, the 2000, this is um, Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2014 uh, version and it is the uh, like um, basically pay by month um, subscription type situation which seems to be the best option for me. So what about the actual laptop? One of the things that I do not like um, and that is pretty simple actually you would think that this would be a good thing so the keyboard is illuminated right so from here it looks great um, and in the dark you know 
it, it looks it looks really great. You can really see that. But when you're at an angle like this, it just drives me kind of crazy. But I got used to it, but it isn't really all that nice. So let me go into a darker room. So let's say you're using this from here and it looks great. And you can adjust the brightness. Alright, so you can make it dim or you can make it bright. But if you're if I have this computer sitting back plugged into a monitor and I'm at an angle, this is what I see. Uh, and I think that's kind of common with most keyboards that are backlit like this. Uh, so that's just something that I've noticed that I've actually kind of gotten used to, but just something to think about. It's not really something that would change my mind on buying it. Um, but yeah, that's something that I've noticed. Um, the other couple of things that are uh, that are not good for me is uh, whenever I use a microphone, I just have a standard um, Audio-Techia mic here, single channel. And um, this laptop only has the single input for the, the it's got four pins on it, right? So I had to purchase a, a splitter that has the microphone and headphone output, which is fine. It works great, but it's just kind of like one extra piece I have to get. Couldn't just plug in the mic. Um, it's kind of a piddly one, but hey, I thought I'd put it in there. Um, so, one of the other things is that this port on this side, which I wasn't for sure what it was, that little guy is a display port, and I've actually been using it um, from display port out to um, um, the digital, the uh, DVI. So I've been using that conversion cord for most of my um, monitors, and it works great. This little clip's kind of interesting for the uh, for the um, Ethernet cable. It's just kind of interesting. It seems to work all right. Um, one thing I really, really like about this laptop is it is super quiet. It's very, very, very quiet. So the machine that I've been using. This. The machine that I used to be using is this old Dell here, and this thing's actually a great uh, dual core computer. Uh, but this thing running, even when I'm just using it normally, is is very loud and annoying. The fan is very loud and very annoying. This guy, even when running at full power, I can really not notice the fan running at all, which is impressive to me. So I really, really like that portion of, uh, of this laptop. That makes it really nice. Um, one of the bad things was one day I uh, am in the dark and I go to plug in my headphones and I miss and I plug it right into the USB socket. Bam! Short out the power supply. I just, I missed. I plugged it right in there. It was dark. I just felt over here. I plugged it in, shorted it out. The whole computer shut down. It recovered just fine, but that was kind of something you might need to pay attention to. <laughs> kind of a total accident. I haven't even used the disk drive. I'm sure that it works, but I haven't used it. Um, other than that, as far as um, as far as performance is concerned, this thing is great. This thing works really, really well. It has absolutely no problem um, doing video editing, and I am have been editing stuff that's considered the uh, 4K, but it's just under 4K, but it's still ultra definition. Um, it's like 3 something by, I don't remember the other, but not true 4K. The screen isn't even 4K, but I have edited a few pieces of video with that and it seems to work fine, but most of my stuff is just 1080p, um, 30 and 60 frames per second. It seems to work just fine, no big deal there. So all in all, I'm really happy with this laptop for video editing. It works really well. Um, I still don't like Windows 8 very much, but hey, I guess I'll get used to it. Um, yeah, it's lightweight. I mean, it's not it's not heavy, but it's not super light. It's actually uh, it's actually a little bit feels to be a little bit lighter than this guy, and it's a little bit smaller. So um, yeah, it's lighter. Um, now originally I thought a lot of this stuff was plastic, and uh, that's one of the things I didn't like, but really the only thing that's plastic is this bottom case. Um, everything else is actually 
aluminum. So the top case here is aluminum, and this whole top plate is aluminum. So that's actually that's actually really nice. Um, one of the other things I wanted to mention was um, there's this button for it to go to sleep, and um, I pushed that one time and popped this guy in my backpack, and when I got home, it was in my backpack running for probably about an hour and a half. And when I pulled this thing out, this whole entire laptop, including the keyboard face and all this aluminum, was just super heated. I mean, the thing was just cranking away in, in, my, in my backpack with absolutely no flow. And you could smell that this laptop was hot. I mean, it got very, very hot and still seemed to function just fine. It didn't have any negativity towards it. But um, one of the things that I've always learned is that whenever I want to... Uh, put it to hibernate mode I actually have to go and select hibernate or else sometimes it wakes up on its own and I don't know what the options are I don't know why it does that could be something that I'm doing wrong um, I don't really know um, all in all this laptop is uh, it's uh, it's great for what I want to use it for it's absolutely no problem nice and portable um, it doesn't really get that hot on your lap so if I set this guy on my lap, the vents are down here. It kind of pulls air in from here and pumps it out this side over here. And um, I have never, like that other laptop gets so hot that it'll just like burn yourself. Um, this one hasn't really gotten that warm. I will say that the hard drive sits right here and my palm sits right here. And it, it occasionally when it's using the hard drive a lot, um, it actually is, uh, it gets pretty hot, uncomfortably hot occasionally, um, but I always, pretty much always use an external mouse, so I'll, I don't, haven't really dealt with that, but if you're sitting here using the keyboard all the time, I mean, if you're gaming, you're going to be using the mouse, right, that's probably out here, um, and then your keys here, um, so maybe not that big of a deal. I don't use this trackpad much at all, it is a dual touch, um, so that's kind of nice, but I haven't used it a whole lot. I will say um, the keyboard, uh, it feels good, but um, like the keys are pretty compact because you got the number pad here. Some of these keys are compact, and um, the space bar, every once in a while, you can hear it kind of make like a semi squeak, which could be annoying. But all in all, if you are looking for, um, if you're looking for a laptop that you want to do video editing, and uh, you're going to be using Adobe or not, um, but I just wanted to do this review for Adobe. This is a great, a great laptop. Um, no problems. I like it. I think I'll be using it for years, I hope. We'll see. All right, peace and love. Have a good day. God bless. Leave a comment if you like it. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know what you think. That's it. Bye.